Oh, she's like, so, like when I saw you on the street, I said to myself, I go, I go, uh, uh, that's somebody I know. You know, like you ever think like you know somebody, but you're not sure because it's like somebody you, you know or like somebody you think you know or something. <laughs> so then like, uh, you want, if you're wrong, you want to like crawl into a hole and shovel dirt on your face, you know? Okay, so like, then I go, I go, uh, Wiley's, who are you? <laughs> Tina Molinari. I used to work for Gary Levy. Tina! Yeah. Tina, right! From the Jane store. <laughs> Hi. Well, nice to see you again, Tina. Bye. <laughs> so, like, then one day Gary goes and goes and goes, uh, okay, well, I'm closing the store, like, I'm moving to Chicago, you know, so, like, now I'm out of a job. But they're really good jobs. Well, they offer, like, uh, rocket scientists and computer experts and physicists. Well, I'm not really good at those things, you know? <laughs> Well, I'm concerned you're late. Yeah, I know. We got work to do. You have to lug a crate of costumes from the back. I? No, yeah. no, no, no. I am a designer, Jack, not a lugger. If you need something lugged, then hire yourself a lugger. Hi. God, I need a crate move now. Hi. Who is this? Oh, um, unless you have nothing to do for the next century, do not ask. <laughs> My name is Tina. Take it. I know wrote it from, like, another time, you know? Like, that's when I had a job. Now is when I don't. Okay, okay, like, so this guy in personnel, he goes, he goes, uh, what do you do? Okay, so then, like, I go, I go, uh, I don't know. And then, uh, you go, you go, uh, I need someone to move crates. Well, guess what? I move crates. <laughs> you live alone, don't you? <laughs> okay, okay, uh, I'm desperate, then. If you're a friend of Morgan Stern's and she's willing to vouch for you, the job is yours. You vouch for her? Sure. Okay. Get the back and start hauling those crates out. The guys will be picking them up in a little while. But remember, it's not my fault if you fracture your spine, break your back, or dislocate your shoulder. Okay. But there's something you should know. What's that? I don't take shorthand. <laughs> Jack. What? Jack, you've just made a huge mistake. Oh, no, no, no. I need the help. Oh, I'll be next door. Now, wait a second, Jack. What? what? You're always talking about equal opportunity. Yeah, but that girl is equal only to a minor bird. <laughs> well, uh, look at it this way. If your friend Tina works out, she could be a lot of help around here. And if she screws up, she goes, she goes, she goes. The scarf is mine. This little package. Oh, uh, this is mine. Can I see it? Yeah, it's uh, what? It's a gold chain that I bought for Benny. No kidding. Yeah. Brent, oh, what do you think? beautiful, Brenda. Yeah. yeah. But are you sure that's this gonna fit him? Sure it'll fit. Yeah. One night when we had nothing to do, we measured each other's necks. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if that was really necking? <laughs> I mean, everybody's been doing it wrong. <laughs> Rhoda. Isn't that a uh, little low cut for you? I was just about to ask you the same question. It's not mine. What? Well, it, it can't be Ma's. Why would she buy a dress like this? Maybe it's made in Israel. <laughs> Rhoda, you're out of Lysol. Ah, no. This time I was ready for you. Right under the sink, a full can. Not anymore. <laughs> Never mind, I'll finish up with wool light. Hey, Ma, wait a minute, wait, wait. Is, uh, is this dress yours? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're kidding. It's not a little revealing for you. I mean, since when are you into cleavage? <laughs> well, okay, I better tell you. Sit down. Ma, why is it whenever you want to tell us something, you make us sit down? I like to make eye contact. <laughs> okay, girls, it's time you should know. I don't want to hear it. I don't oh, want to hear it. Why? Well, anytime she starts with girls, it's time you should know. It's bad news. Friend. No, no. All right, Ma, what is it? Well, uh, I was trying to find the right time to tell you, but I guess there is no right time, so, um... Well, your mother's dating. <laughs> <laughs> Did she say it yet? Yes, yes, she said it. You gotta hear it, Brenda. I don't wanna no, hear it. No, you do. I don't wanna hear it. you'll be glad. Now, trust me. <laughs> this is, without a doubt, the funniest thing you've ever heard. <laughs> it could be a trick. It could be a trick. First, she makes you laugh. Then she hits you with the bad news. No, 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 no. It's the truth. I don't know what this is about, but I smell bad news. Look, Ma, I'm sure you're using the wrong word. See? I am talking about dinner, dancing, theater, cocktails. Your mother is dating. <laughs> I told you I didn't want to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I shouldn't have either. Okay, listen, let's, um... Uh... All right, Ma, um, about this, uh, dating. What about Pop? I don't know if he's dating. <laughs> Who's the guy? I can't believe I'm asking her this. <laughs> he's my allergist. When your father walked out on me, well, I did what any sensible woman would do. I broke out in hives. <laughs> no, enough of that, please. Never mind that. Just tell us about this uh, person. Well, he's a very nice man. Very refined gentleman. Yeah. Last night, he took me to the opera. You hate the opera. He had good seats. <laughs> Ma, I'll tell you something. I don't believe anything that you've said. I, I just... Oh, come on, darlings. It wasn't easy for me. I mean... Going out with another man after living with your father for 40 years? This was a big decision. I had to ask myself, am I right? Am I wrong? Should I? Shouldn't I? And then it dawned on me. Your father's not here. How's he going to know? <laughs> Ma, how could you? Ma, when did you take it easy? If Ma wants to go out once in a while, what harm is it? Yeah, what's the harm? <laughs> we got to let her live her own life. Yeah, let me live. <laughs> I mean, we cannot expect her to sit home alone every night, like she does. <laughs> Remember me? I'm the one who was on your side. Oh, all right. Never mind. Let's not got to get going. I'm meeting Murray, uh, Dr. Berger, tonight. That is, if my two girls don't mind. We don't mind, Ma. Oh, really? And we're not going to butt in. Are we, Brendan? No, I guess not. Don't you worry. It'll be all right. Mm -hmm. He's a nice man. You like him. Yeah. I, I think we both like to meet him. Okay. In fact, Ma... Next week, why don't you have him over for dinner here? Okay. I'll find out when he's free. Great. There you go. Now, you and Murray have a good time tonight. Yeah, right. Oh, and Ma, where, where is he taking you? Gee, I don't know. But the stores are open late tonight. I thought we might go shopping. <laughs> Brenda? Yeah, it's us, Ralph. Good. Come in. Hi. Hiya. Hi, Rhoda. How you doing, Ed? This is uh, not your basic local grape. Imported. Oh, Benny, thank you. Gee, I didn't know they made wine in Motown. <laughs> uh, notice anything? Huh? You're not wearing a bra. <laughs> oh, no, no, the chain, the gold chain. Well, where did you get it? My woman gave it to me. <laughs> In case you don't know, he means me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I got that. It's beautiful, Benny. Can't wait to show your mother. Oh, yeah, and Benny, that reminds me. You know, we want it to really go well tonight. Yeah. And uh, I want my mother and her guest, this man, to be totally comfortable. Don't worry about me. I will only talk about things that older people are interested in. I'll discuss dentures. <laughs> That's a good topic. Hey, yeah, Carlton. Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. Your mother's on her way up, and is she a cute little bundle of dynamite tonight? <laughs> Black silk pumps over sandy beige hose, matching bag followed by a simple rust pantsuit. Carlton, please, uh, is there a man with her? I didn't notice. <laughs> Where's your friend? Oh, he'll be up in a few minutes. He's double parking the car. He's a doctor. <laughs> so, Mrs. Morgenstern, how's tricks? You getting much action? Or... Benny! <laughs> Rhoda, I want to thank you and Brenda for inviting Dr. Berger and me up to dinner tonight. Oh, my. It was, it's our pleasure, really. Uh, and we're really looking forward to meeting him, aren't yeah, we, Brenda? Yeah, and, Ma, and listen, I want to apologize if I gave you a rough time. I just had to adjust to the fact that you were going out with someone. That's all right, sweetheart. I know exactly how you feel. I'm having a rough time adjusting to the fact that you're going out with somebody. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. Hi. Well, hi. I uh, hope I don't have the wrong apartment. So do I. <laughs> I'm Murray Berger. My mother's date. <laughs> and he's a doctor. <laughs> It turned out that his wife was allergic to fur. So he bought her fake fur. 
And what do you think happened? She developed a fake rash. <laughs> <laughs> You know something, Murray? I, I usually don't like skin jokes, but that was a good one. <laughs> Rhoda. Rhoda! Rhoda! Listen to me. You have to stop staring. It's not polite and it is not good for your eyes. And I cannot, cannot help myself. It's like being at the scene of an accident. You don't want to watch, but you can't take your eyes off. <laughs> you know, it's funny, isn't it? I mean, all our lives, Ma's been telling us to find a young, good-looking doctor. Who figures she'd find one before we did? Uh, listen, what do you have to do to get some coffee around here? Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh, who wants coffee? Not me. Uh, Murray would like some tea, though. Oh. He takes it very strong, so dangle the uh, tea bag a little, please. Uh, sure, got it. Dangle the tea bag a little. Hey, let me ask you a question. Can I call you Doc? Sure, Benny. What's the question? That was it. <laughs> okay. Tea, coffee, and um, plenty of hot water out there uh, for those uncommitted amongst us. <laughs> mm. uh, cake roll? Uh, no, no, Brenda. You know I'm on a diet. She has a weight problem. Well, you'd never know it. <laughs> That's why I told you. <laughs> Give me the cake. <laughs> Rhoda, that was a wonderful meal. You're really quite a cook. Thank you. And she has a wonderful appetite, God bless her. <laughs> you want to shovel some ice cream on here? Oh, boy, look at the time. I hate to eat and run, folks, but I do have to get up early. Oh, I bet it's an emergency. Right? <coughs> calling Dr. Berger, calling Dr. Berger. You are wanted in the blemish room. <laughs> <laughs> some chocolate sauce, please. <laughs> Actually, I have to give your mother a tennis lesson in the morning. Oh, my. You're learning how to play tennis? Yeah, well, it's the same as ping pong, only the ball's fuzzier. <laughs> Do you play, Rhoda? No, no, no. I'm afraid tennis is not my racket. <laughs> Say when. I want to thank you for a great evening, and Brenda, Rhoda, it was nice meeting both of you. Oh, listen, Murray, it was nice meeting you, too. I really mean it. Rhoda? Uh, yeah, yeah, we made it. Nice. I'll get the car, and I'll pick you up downstairs. Okay. Wait a second, wait a second. This is a rough neighborhood. We'll walk together in case somebody tries to steal my chain. <laughs> okay, so, uh, good night, Mom. Good night, Rhoda. Good night, Rhoda. I'll buzz from the lobby. Okay. Button up before you go out. Yeah, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. <laughs> It was a nice evening. Yeah, terrific. Let me help you clean up. Uh, no, 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 Ma. I can do it. Oh, well, there must be something I can do. <sighs> okay, yeah, there is something you can do. Answer one question, please. What are you doing with him? What do you mean? Ma, I mean, I was willing to accept the fact that my mother was out on the town dating, right? Okay. I never in my wildest dreams expected that you would turn up here with uh, Donny Osmond. <laughs> Ma, do you honestly feel that Murray is the type of guy you should be going out with? Why, what's the matter with him? If you don't know, there is no sense at all in discussing this. I will tell you what's wrong with him. The man is what? 42, 43 years of age. 41. Wonderful! 41. And you're not. <laughs> me how does it look you running around town with him i mean what are people gonna say that i'm going out with a very nice kind gentleman and since when did you care what people say don't change the subject <laughs> ma. 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 he's not the kind of guy you should be going out with what is the matter with him oh, what's the matter with him she asked me what's the matter with him <laughs> what is the matter with him i'm fine thank you what is the matter with it? It's entirely too tall for you. Yes. And since it's come up, let's talk about height. <laughs> the man is 6'1", if he's an inch. How tall are you? Ah, oh, come on, will you please? All right, All right. strike that. But forget about the, the height. There are a lot of other things wrong with Murray. He is nice, attractive, an eligible bachelor. Need I say more? 
By any chance, are you jealous? What? Uh, oh, please. That's crazy. Oh, I, I swear, Ma, I'm not jealous. Swear on my life. Oh, I'm not going to swear on your life. Then swear on your refrigerator. What? <laughs> Raise your hand and say, if I am jealous, may all my food go bad. <laughs> Absurd. Please. Ma, I'm not jealous. Why would I be? Of you and a guy like Murray? Sure, he's attractive and, and nice and young and successful. <laughs> Pants on fire. Now you stop that right now. Now listen, Ma. For your own good, I do not think you should be going out with Murray. Since when are you my mother? Since you started acting like a child. And if I don't obey you, what are you going to do? Ground me? Ma, please. I'm just going to say this one last time, and that will be it. You are making a big mistake. You will regret it. Now what do you say to that? See you around, kiddo. <laughs> hey, Mr. D, yeah. on that order for the seven dwarf costumes, like the zipper on a grumpy suit is broken, but I want to send it anyway with this really cute little note. <laughs> the zipper on grumpy's pants is stuck. Now you know what makes him so grumpy. <laughs> Get in the back, huh? Hi, Earl. Brenda, hello. You have lunch yet? No, I'm going to have lunch out. Well, you don't have to, Earl. What? Look what I brought you. Wow. It's from Ma. It's a peace offering, Rhoda. She says she's sorry, she feels awful, and she wants you to forgive her. Yeah? Yeah. She's... Oh, Brenda, it's my favorite Ma stuffed cabbage. You want some? Oh, no, thanks. I'm uh, going to have donuts. Brenda. They're not glazed. <laughs> oh, and by the way, Rhoda... Ma wanted me to be sure to tell you that the cabbage is made with love. Uh, did she... Did she say anything else? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she well. came to the bank this morning, Rhoda, and she was heartsick over what's happened between you two. Oh, no. Rhoda, Rhoda, she clutched my hand, Rhoda, and, and she told me how, how she's lost without you. Mm. Yeah, more than anything else, Rhoda, she wants your approval and, and your respect. Boy, I, I am so sorry this whole thing happened. I mean, I was really... Wow. Nice try, Brenda. What gave me away? Ma does not stuff her cabbage with sardines. <laughs> well, it was either that or Velveeta. <laughs> Rhoda, please, you have to talk to her. You hurt her. Well, she hurt me too, Brenda. Accusing me of being jealous of her. I mean, that's ridiculous. Is it? Yes, it I is. saw you the what? other night at dinner. Well, don't deny it. You were trying to be cute. I'm always trying to be cute. <laughs> that does not mean that I'm, I'm jealous. Oh, Rhoda, who could blame you? I mean, you know, here you are, single for most of your life, and there's Ma, this little woman up in the Bronx. She's alone for 30 seconds, and look what she comes up with. A medical hunk. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I gotta admit, and I can to you, that I was a little jealous. But I still don't think she should be going out with Murray. Uh, Rhoda, I don't. Rhoda, all right, all right. I'm going to give you back the same advice that you gave to me. What? Ever since we were kids, we've been telling Ma not to butt into our lives. So I don't think it's fair for us to start butting into hers. Huh? Yes, I'll, I'll call her right now. Well, she's not at home. She's at Dr. Berger's office. Well, since the argument with you, she broke out in hives again. Oh, wonderful. This is going to be a festival of guilt. <laughs> Excuse me. A glass. <laughs> okay. How do I talk to you? You ring the bell. All right. Um. There's no bell out here. That's not my fault. <laughs> Don't knock on the bell. I don't believe it. Look, Warren Beatty just walked in. You can also tell him not to knock on the door. <laughs> now you rub a little on every hour, let it really soak in good. 
Then you put it in the oven at 350. <laughs> Hello, Ma. Uh, hiya, Doctor. Hi, Rhoda. <laughs> Look who's here, the daughter who used to be in my will. <laughs> Come on now, Ida, don't be like that. I want you two to make up, be friends again. Do it for my sake. I hate treating hives. Well, Ma, um, I really would like to talk to you. Could we have lunch? I'm having lunch with Murray. I see. Well, um, then I'll make this very fast. I've come to apologize. Oh, well, in that case, take your time. <laughs> First of all, Ma, Please let me apologize for causing your hives to come back. Hives? That's not all you caused me. Carry a child for nine long months. Oh, Ma, please, not the heat wave story again. <laughs> in the hottest summer in the history of New York. And this was no small bundle. This was a fat kid. <laughs> I am talking butterball. <laughs> now, listen, the other night, I was completely out of line. I, uh, what are you doing? There's a story in here about Jackie O that I want to read. Every time I come here, I take a page. Why don't you take the whole magazine? That's stealing. <laughs> I always bring the old page back. Listen, Ma, I don't know how it happened uh, or why, but you were right. And a mother waits a whole lifetime to hear something like that. My daughter said I was okay, right. Okay, okay, Ma. Before you start organizing a victory party, let, could we finish talking? What I want you to know is... I had no right to tell you how to run your life. Well, as long as we're being honest, I have a confession, too. I was showing off with Murray and flaunting the fact that he liked me. Listen, I know he's young enough to be my... Your date. My friend. And believe me, that's all he is. You don't have to worry. I'm not into heavy dating yet. Yeah, but Ma, when or, or if or, or whatever you, you decide about that, it's okay with me. I am not butting into your life. Well, it's good to see you learned something from me. <laughs> Come on, let's go to lunch. We'll meet Murray in the coffee okay, shop. sweetheart, good. Great. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I almost forgot. <laughs> you took the bell, too? Well, yeah, only while I'm here. If you leave it out, people ring it. Oh. <laughs>